Hello there, Martin here from Schildwache Potsdam. Today with the ninth part of Achille Marozzo's Primo Assalto, his way of solo drill for the two-handed sword, the Spada da Duemane. This time we have something very similar to the German Duplian. And he speaks especially about this play that we should only do this if our opponent is in Porta di Ferro Alta, so with the point extended, the sword on the inside and the hands held high. We start in Porta di Ferro Alta as well with an uh, with a thrust with, po uh, with crossed arms, uh, punta incrossata, on the outside of the opponent's sword and from there we uncross the arms getting our sword above the opponent's sword and slice their face or their neck with the mandrito traversato along with the tramazzone where we step back. From there, if the opponent attacks us, we parry that going forward with the right foot with a falso manco, striking a mandrito along with the tramazzone. If they strike us, we parry in guardi di faccia, step around into coda e longa e alta, Perry in Guardi di Croce and get out with the Falso Madrito with the lifted leg. So from the other side we have, and that's the important bit, the Punta in Crossada uncrossing the arm, getting behind the opponent's blade, getting back, cover, getting back in there once again, striking, cover, getting around, cover and getting out. Okay, so now let's look at it with a partner. Okay, so like I said, we want our opponent in Porta di Ferro e Alta, so in a point forward guard. From there we go in with the Punta in Crossata. There comes a vertical parrying motion, because if not, then this point could uh, deem uh, quite a danger for myself. We slice towards the head or neck, and get out there into Cingare Porta di Ferro. If they then uh, attack to our other side, we step forward, parrying with the Falso Manco, again striking with the Mandrito behind the opponent's blade, and covering ourselves with the Tramazzone. If there's then an attack towards our face, we parry that in Guardi di Faccia, withdrawing the right leg towards our left, letting the pressure through, Stepping forward with the left leg, cutting a reverso towards the head in Cola Longa Alta. From here, we parry once again in Guardi di Croce and getting out with a falso to the hands while we step with the right foot, two feet spans behind our left, letting the left follow while we're striking that falso. Okay, so once more. We have that first duplian like motion. If the opponent's sword is low while we are doing this thrust, then probably just going around and crossing the arms wouldn't be safe. So it should be up high. So your ponta and crossata needs to be really strong. To facilitate that, then we strike behind the blade. We're getting here, we're going in, we're getting out. And there comes something to the other side. We're getting in, again going towards the opponent. There's more pressure. Pressure in this direction. <laughs> We're covering with the tramazzone. There's something towards our head. We parry in guardi di faccia, laying the pressure through, cutting around, covering in guardi di croce, and getting out while striking towards the hands. Okay, let's put some gear on.
If you liked this video, remember you can support us really a lot by liking, sharing and subscribing to this channel. You can also support us by subscribing to our Patreon. We just started a weekly online live lesson. So if you always wanted to train with me, you have a possibility over there. So check out the, the Patreon channel link in the video description. Until then, until the next video, take care, ciao and bye bye.